Hello, welcome back to Just Jamming Along. My name is Chris Chambers, and today I want to take a quick look at the OE um, setup and the pedal board arrangement that I have for my Boss Katana 100 head and cab. This is generation two. Um, I'm really excited about this. It uses two GAFC controllers and the effects loop to give me what I think is really a versatile arrangement for live performance. I play in two bands, a mix of acoustic and electric guitar, and the two bands are very different as well. So actually I need you know, something that's got um, versatility and can give me quick access to different, different types of amps, different setups and so on. And I think at the moment I've got what I need. I don't really want to make this too much of a review about the GAFC itself. There are other videos about that, but I hopefully this gives you an idea about how me, an amateur musician in Somerset and Dorset, how I'm using the two GAFC controllers and the Boss Katana to give what I think is a really nice setup for live performance. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so let's have a look at how I've got my uh, Katana pedal board set up. So as you can see here, um, the main two things that you can see are two GAFC controllers. That's the newer generation one here, and that is the original one that I purchased a couple of years ago when I first got the Katana. Up here, I've got two pedals which are in the effects loop. So I've got a clean boost for, an, obviously as the name suggests, an overall boost, regardless of whatever preset I'm in, I've got a volume boost there if I need it, and then also a, um, a tuner. In the near future I plan to get some kind of small multi-effects unit just here, probably something like a, a Helix HX1 or something. The reason for that is I want to have the option of some kind of weird and wacky effect and preset which I might use as a one-off in one particular song but is otherwise not going to be in general use. And then I've also got a small power supply here for these two pedals and also I've got a Boss FV500 expression pedal. The board I've made myself is just made out of ply and I've painted it black. I've raised up se um, sections as well so that I'm not having to reach over. Let's look at the main presets then. So on this GAFC controller here, as you can see from my labels, I've got four presets. Anyone who's got a Boss Katana will know that you get four presets. And then if you've got a 100, if you hit the panel button, you get access to another four presets. At the moment, I've only got four set up. And as you can see from my labels, I've got them set up to the acoustic amp, a clean amp, dirty amp, and high gain amp. I've got fairly similar um, EQ settings on all of those. And this is where the real versatility comes in. I can be playing acoustic guitar on one song, unplug the, the guitar, um, go plug into an electric guitar, go to my clean channel, and I'm away straight away with all the presets that I need. Okay, so that's that's the main kind of, if you like, the arrangement that I've got for the um, for that controller there. Down to this controller here, this is now set up as my, a conventional kind of stomp box. And as the label suggests, I've got a booster, I've got a modulation effect, I've got some other effect, delay and reverb. The way I've got it set up, my preference is to have a bit of reverb as a default on everything. And then I can hit delay. Effects. Chorus as it happens and booster. So that's the main arrangement there. Um, obviously, I can change, I can go into the um, uh, the control software and change these presets, but also don't forget as well that on the um, on the katana amp itself, I can also hit the variation button. So I might be on my clean channel here modulation connected which in this case is chorus but if i go to the variation button on the panel on the amp itself hit that one there i've just done it and we've got a deeper effect there i can hit it again for another variation and i've got a choppy tremolo there Personally, I don't really want to have to go to the panel that frequently during um, a gig. I want everything easily accessible from here. So at the moment, I've got the most common effects here for clean. And obviously, I've got this whole same arrangement again, different types of effects. On my dirty, I think I've got a, a fuzz setup, an auto wire and those sorts of things. And then uh, high gain, again, different types of effects. I don't really want to give a, a review of the effects that the Katana's got. I just really want to give an overview of how I've got this configured. I've also 
with the FV500, for example, I've got one particular song where I've got the, uh, the pedal set up as a... Again, that's just a one-off preset with the, uh, the pedal, pedal configured in that arrangement for a particular song that we do that's got some um, Tom Morello type um, effects in. Okay, I hope that's useful. For me, this is a real game changer. Um, for, for a long time, I wasn't 100% happy with my Boss Katana uh, with just one GAFC controller. Likewise, I wasn't 100% happy with my, um, my Fender conventional tube amp and, uh, and conventional pedal board. I never really felt like I had um, access to everything that I, I needed uh, quickly and easily. Um, also with pedals, I just found that knob positions would change when, when it had been in my storage box to take it out again. I've got to configure and get everything set up again. This is perfect. It's the same setup every time uh, and really uh, reliable as well. No dodgy patch cables, uh, very low noise as well. I'm really very happy with it. Hope this is useful. If you've got any queries or comments, then please put them in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, thanks then. Take care. See you soon.